Hey, hi guys. Good evening to everyone. Hello, hello. Hello guys, can you can you respond at the other side if you can hear me? Good evening, teacher. How are you? Uh, I'm pretty I'm pretty yeah, tired, yeah. Uh, Ivan, and you? Uh, well, here I am again. <laughs> okay, thank you, thank you for asking. What is yeah, you? I feel, I feel worn out. Worn out is tired, but here we are. Uh, what about you, Ivan? How do you feel? Oh, well, uh, today is my day off. All right, yeah. Yeah, great. See, yeah, in my house, working too. Okay, excellent, pretty good. Okay, let's see, uh, Carla, hello, how are you doing, Carla? Good evening, teacher. I'm good fine. evening. Okay, you are fine, perfect, perfect, great. Hey, Jorge, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, hello. Hey, I see your background. It's pretty cool because it is the last day, right? Yes. It, it's a pre-graduation with uh, from the level. Okay, that's great. Julio, hello, Julio. Great to see you there connected. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Uh, welcome, and how are you? Julio, how is it going this day? It's been a busy day. As always, right? That's normal. Pretty busy. Okay, great. Let's see. I see Melissa. Hello, Melissa. Uh, mm -hmm. Wendy. Hello, hello. Uh, Luis Eduardo. Luis Good Eduardo. Evening, Good evening, mister. Hey, I have two namesakes in the class. I have Luis Eduardo and Luis Carranza. I am Luis as well. Okay. Uh, Melissa Stephanie, Hi. good evening. Yes. Okay. Uh -huh. You need to, to, to call us uh, Luis first, Luis second, and Luis third. Ah, like the kings, correct. In the in the old empires in the medieval times, correct. Good. And Catherine Lisbeth. Hello, Catherine. Alejandra, hello. Alejandra Bustamante, hello. Ah, there is Sofia. Sofia Perez. Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi, hi. What's hello. up? Hello. Hey, hello guys. This is the last time we see each other. How you feel that you reached the final class? How you feel? Normal? Okay. You should be happy because you, you are going to advance to a new level. Okay, guys. Uh, today, no more topics. All topics that we were supposed to study are already covered. And as I told you, we are gonna make uh, an activity, but not precisely about the topics. It is an activity that in my opinion, you should take on account for you. As a students, I feel proud when I see you, that you reach the final, the final class. Many students begin uh, at, at certain times in different months, in different years, but for any reason, they have issues, they have problems, they cannot or they don't continue with the English language. 
And that is something very important for you that you are learning, okay? So this class is for you to check it out. It's a video and an activity from the video. And please attention to it. And after watching the video, we are gonna make a couple of things about it. Okay, let me share the computer. Uh, do you see the, the camels? You see the camels? The shadows, at least. Yes. Yes, yes. yes. yes teacher. Okay, Arabia Saudi, the camels. In the desert. The desert, correct. The desert, it's pretty hot. Okay, guys, uh, let's see. This is presentation, the last one that's for you. Let me make it bigger and that's it. Uh, Pre-advance model one today is done. Okay, I feel happy and proud for you that you could do it, you make it. Okay, uh, let's see. Aha, -da -da -da. Uh -huh. let me see the last time in reading, last time reading. Please, uh, Alejandra Bustamante, can you help me with this part? Okay, congratulations. This is the end of your course. The ones that practice constancy, constancy and work with dedication are able to see the results at the end of the path. Ah, uh, hello, Moto. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. I heard the ring. <laughs> okay, good. Can you read it? Uh, you as well, please. Jorge, can you read it? This is the, mm -hmm. ah, okay. This is the end of your course. The one that practice constancy and work with the dedication are able to see the result in the end of the part. Okay, perfect. You are going to see the results in the future, in the near future, of being studying English in this course with uh, English Corporativo, okay? So practice constancy, go continue and work with dedication and you will see the results, okay? Congrats, congratulations, guys. Many congrats for you. Final class, let's see. The topic is the uh -huh, someone last time reading the, import the importance of English. Okay, the importance of English. Pretty good. And um, the link, let me open it. The link is in the presentation so you can rewatch this video. Okay, guys, uh, please pay attention to the video. Uh, Julio, what is uh, the indication that we have before watching it? Uh, Richard finds out about all the different kinds of English and, and talks to some of the hundreds of thousands of students who come to, to Great Britain to learn English every year. Okay, perfect. Thanks. Okay. Uh, the first time, only pay attention to the video. The second time I will replay the video, but with a with transcript. So you can listen and read in the second, in the second time. Okay, here we go. I've come here to the British Council who work hard to build cultural relations between Britain and the rest of the world. And the English language is a big part of that. Let's find out more. The British Council provides resources for people learning English and also teachers of English. Martin Peacock is the director of Global English Product Development. Martin, tell me about English as a global language. Okay, well, many people talk about English as being a global language. 
And the, the reasons for that are the widespread use of English. It's used in education, um, it's used in science and technology, and importantly, English is also used in business. Are there many global languages? Well, no, not really. I mean, there's the global language, which is English. In the sense that English is used in these many different contexts, there's only one. There are other languages which, which are used very widely and spoken by many people in many different places. Cantonese, for example, the variant of Chinese is spoken in many different places. So it's global in a geographic sense, and it can be global in the numbers, but in terms of the use in different areas of, of education, science, research. English is the only global language. Are there different types of English? Well, yes, there are lots of different types. Uh, there's different accents of English. I come from the north of England, where I have a particular accent. So within England itself, within the UK, there are many variations in, uh, in English pronunciation. Uh, and that extends globally. So you see English in America, used in Australia, which is different in accent and also in usage as well. And what about the impact of technology on a language? In the past, uh, new words were, were coined by people. It might have been in a speech or in a newspaper article or in a book. Uh, they were written down and then they were, other people adapted them and used them. And that could be quite a slow process. And new words might come into language over a long period, 10, 20 years. So technology allows languages to evolve much more quickly. So technology can change the language, but in what way does it help people to learn the language? Well, it helps in many ways. In the past, students in locations in other countries didn't have access to much genuine English. They may have a book or an odd newspaper. But what the internet allows them is to read and often read and translate languages like English uh, on a massive scale. People learn English for different reasons. A knowledge of the language is often important in fields like medicine, business and computing. English is becoming more and more important in order to communicate in the international world. English opens doors to employment, education and mobility and it helps teachers and learners engage across the globe. One of the best ways to learn English is to study in Britain. But what is it actually like to learn English here? Clara, could I have a volunteer to come up and show us the present perfect examples? My name is Clelia, I am 26 and I come from Italy. My course at the Northwest Academy was very good. I studied grammar, uh, conversation, and also words linked with my work placement. And I have a selection of questions here that you're going to discuss in your group. The teacher was very good. She has uh, always been available for problems during the lessons and outside the lessons. Over 600,000 learners a year come to Britain to help achieve their ambition, to experience modern UK life. My name is Maximiliano. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Venezuela. Everyone here is very friendly. When you tell them that you're a foreigner, everyone is very welcoming. Like everyone tries to speak to you. Everyone like tries to just stay close to you and ask you about your experience, how how your life is in your own country, and that actually helps you a lot. Like when you're not a native native speaker. My name is Alexander. My surname Igorov. Uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm come to the UK from Russia, from Moscow. I'm studying here um, business uh, English. Sometimes we have uh, general lessons about social English. I'm an engineer in the building company. I will use uh, English in my, in my job. I think uh, it will help me to improve my career. My name is Anthony and I just turned 20 from last February and I'm from Malaysia. The people here are very nice, the place is amazing and learning here is a really different experience. So just come over and check it out. Well, they seem to be enjoying learning English and what I've learned is, is that the English language is more exciting than I'd first realised. And maybe, just maybe in the future, I won't have to worry quite as much about my grammar and spelling. Okay.
the second time, guys, but with this one, we are going to check at the same time the transcript. So while you watch the video, you can be uh, reading it. Just let me accommodate the transcript with, with the video. Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay, I'm going to leave it as more. No problem. I've come here to the British Council who work hard to build cultural relations between Britain and the rest of the world. And the English language is a big part of that. Let's find out more. The British Council provides resources for people learning English and also teachers of English. Martin Peacock is the director of Global English Product Development. Martin, tell me about English as a global language. Okay, well, many people talk about English as being a global language. And the, the reasons for that are the widespread use of English. It's used in education, um, it's used in science and technology, and importantly, English is also used in business. Are there many global languages? Well, no, not really. I mean, there's the global language, which is English. In the sense that English is used in these many different contexts, there's only one. There are other languages which, which are used very widely and spoken by many people in many different places. Cantonese, for example, the variant of Chinese is spoken in many different places. So it's global in a geographic sense, and it can be global in the numbers. But in terms of the use in different areas of, of education, science, research. English is the only global language. Are there different types of English? Well, yes, there are lots of different types. Uh, there's different accents of English. I come from the north of England, where I have a particular accent. So within England itself, within the UK, there are many variations in, uh, in English pronunciation. Uh, and that extends globally. So you see English in America, used in Australia, which is different in accent and also in usage as well. And what about the impact of technology on a language? In the past, uh, new words were, were coined by people. It might have been in a speech or in a newspaper article or in a book. Uh, they were written down and then they were, other people adapted them and used them and that could be quite a slow process and new words might come into language over a long period, 10, 20 years. So technology allows languages to evolve much more quickly. So technology can change the language but in what way does it help people to learn the language? Well, it helps in many ways. In the past, students in locations in other countries didn't have access to much genuine English. They may have a book or an odd newspaper. But what the internet allows them is to read and often read and translate languages like English uh, on a massive scale. People learn English for different reasons. A knowledge of the language is often important in fields like medicine, business and computing. English is becoming more and more important in order to communicate in the international world. English opens doors to employment, education and mobility and it helps teachers and learners engage across the globe. One of the best ways to learn English is to study in Britain. But what is it actually like to learn English here? Clara, could I have a volunteer to come up and show us the present perfect examples? My name is Clelia, I am 26 and I come from Italy. My course at the Northwest Academy was very good. I studied grammar, uh, conversation and also words linked with my work placement. I have a selection of questions here that you're going to discuss in your group. The teacher was very good. She has uh, always been available for problems during the lessons and outside the lessons. Over 600,000 learners a year come to Britain to help achieve their ambition, to experience modern UK life. My name is Maximiliano. I'm 23 years old and I'm from Venezuela. Everyone here is very friendly. When you tell them that you're a foreigner, everyone is very welcoming. Like everyone tries to speak to you. Everyone like tries to just stay close to you and ask you about your experience, how how your life is in your own country, and that actually helps you a lot. Like when you're not a native native speaker. My name is Alexander. My surname Igorov. 
Uh, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I'm come to the UK from Russia, from Moscow. I'm studying here um, business uh, English. Sometimes we have uh, general lessons about social English. I'm engineer in the building company. I will use uh, English in my in my job. I think uh, it will help me to improve my career. My name is Anthony, and I just turned 20 from last February, and I'm from Malaysia. The people here are very nice. The place is amazing, and learning here is a really different experience. So just come over and check it out. Well, they seem to be enjoying learning English. And what I've learned is, is that the English language is more exciting than I'd first realized. And maybe, just maybe, in the future, I won't have to worry quite as much about my grammar and spelling. All right, pretty cool. Carla, what's, what's your ambition? Why did you decide it? to begin with English classes, Carla? Um, I hope to improve. I dream working as a um, human resources in a company. And I, I know I need to improve more and more. Okay, we always, we always improve. We never stop learning. What about you, Julio? Why did you decide to study English? Um, I would like to to work for an for an international organization, uh, help, uh, especially for the United Nations. Uh, UN and they uh, they they request uh, some knowledge uh, uh, English knowledge. So I need to improve. I improve it. You are actually every day, okay, with every class, perfect with the United Nations. You said right? Yeah. Sounds a heavy. And pretty cool because you have the option to travel a lot with that company. What yeah. about you? Uh, let's see, Jorge. Why are you studying with uh, English Corporativo English? When did you start? What's your dream, your ambition? In my case, teacher, because I was working and the customer called me in English. I don't know can to answer. So I decide to learn in English and I would like to visit another uh, country and visit uh, my friend from live in the Canada. I would like to visit uh, a different country. Okay, that's cool. Different countries. That's what I like. Okay, good. Ivan, what about you? Dreams, ambitions with English? Well, I feel excited because I I want to learn it very well. I know the English is, is uh, open the door for us. We can find another job, employment. Thing is very important for us because uh, is in, in this actually is in the, is important to speak English very well. Uh, every everyone everyone know to know about this. Uh, uh, and I we try to do the best for here and. and to advance in my speaking, my learning, is very difficult sometimes, but there is a time saying, there is time to, to study in our house for advancing in 
an hour speaking. I, I feel I feel it shy. I feel I believe I but I can I can do it. I can do it. Yes, yeah, you know I can do it. Yeah, of course. Remember, guys, you only need two two things. Dedication and the other ones at the beginning in the reading. Nope. Constancy. Constancy. Number two, dedication. They go together. Uh, Luis Carranza and you, do you like English? At least you like it. Why are you studying it? My namesake, Luis Carranza, uh -huh. or Luis Eduardo, any of you two. What about you guys? Why did you decide with to start with English? Sophia, maybe? Mm -hmm. Sophia, I got a dream. Any goal that you are pursuing, Sophia? <laughs> Okay, in my case, I have always wanted to learn English. I, I always um, like to learn. I, I need a better job, and I like uh, to give uh, to give my child a better life. And I would like to to travel someday. Okay, pretty good. The first one is pretty important, right? To give a different life, life to your, to your daughter or son. You have son. Ah, uh, son. Okay, perfect. Okay, thanks for for sharing. What about you, Melissa, Stephanie, or Catherine? And you, if you are in the class, if you reached the end, it means that you are pursuing a goal. That you are going behind something you want. Uh, or Wendy, Paola, maybe. Uh, Eduardo, Jose, what about you? Alejandra? Uh -huh. Hi, teacher. No. In, in my case, uh, is for my job. And... I start to working in the global company and, and I need to learn English and I need talk. How do you say fluido? Uh, okay, it's fluently. 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 Fluently, fluently. fluently English uh, is the reason, the principal reason. And where do you work? Sorry for the question. It, it, it's the company is Inc, Inchcape uh, Mercedes Benz in El Salvador. Oh, ah, yeah, I remember at the beginning, uh, you someone said something about Mercedes. Ah, you have a Mercedes car. I, I responded, right? I yes, yes. Ah, it's the, it's the cars. Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so go for it. Continue with your purpose. You. Don't stop, okay? For any Thank reason. You. Thank you, teacher. Great. Uh, Luis uh, Carranza, no? Eduardo, Catherine, last time sharing in the class. Okay. Okay, guys, pretty good. See? Good evening. Um, yeah. Uh -huh. uh, well, for me, uh, I started with the model printer printer media three. And this is my fifth module. So I I principal is start with this because I want to um, find better opportunities for a job. But now I realize that I, I want to be one of the top um persons doing my, my work or doing the, the thing that I study right now. And it's incredible the the massive information in English that I was ignoring when I don't speak English. So, 
So I want to yeah, I want to improve. I want to be one of the best uh, marketers in in my job. So this English is one of the main reasons for doing that. Okay, perfect. Thank you for sharing that. See, English nowadays it's pretty important. If you see the students, they go to another country and you're studying in your own country. Yeah, there are advantages, they have advantages. We have advantages of studying English in your house, of course, but the purpose is the same. We want to learn, we want to speak better, more fluently, and we have uh, the opportunity to continue. We need, we want uh, different jobs, maybe, to travel, as you said, to go abroad, visit family, relatives. I don't know, maybe you can get married in another country. You can get a gringo or a gringa, who knows? Nobody knows the future. Okay, pretty cool. Nice, thank you for sharing your, your purpose about studying English. Okay, now let's see how much your memory uh, let's see the chat. Ah, Luis Carranza, maybe you didn't have the microphone. Okay, uh, guys, can you read? Can you help me reading uh, Luis uh, messages that, that he sent? Someone? Okay, I will. Uh -huh. It's right. It's only for private message, teacher. I'm sorry, oh. but I, I'm okay. a little sick. In, I mean, the is in this moment. Oh, so you don't you don't want me to read it? No. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, you can read it. Ah, okay. Luis Carranza says, "Hi, teacher. Hello. I'm a listener tonight because I'm in the east. Oh, I'm really sorry. Sorry, sorry. I work in a call center and I hope to change my work account. I you want to move to move on another account to a bilingual or trilingual? Nice." What's the other language that you want to learn? Italian, Russian, I don't know. A trilingual once since my second language is Portuguese. Ah, see, pretty interesting. I didn't know that Luis spoke Portuguese. I want to learn Portuguese one day. Like Microsoft, ah, okay, I was at Microsoft many years ago for example ah google google is coming to el salvador right guys is that true or is it's fake <laughs> yeah it's true uh, it's true i uh, see there are opportunities awaiting for you like micro okay go trilingual because my second language is portuguese perfect you know you know spanish you know english you know portuguese you can study a fourth uh, fourth language. Okay, congrats. Pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, nice. Let's see. And the transcript, there it is. But now let's do the tasks that we have. Task number one, uh, let's see, Ivan. Yes. Have indication, well, please. For the events in the video. Order the the events. 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 Oh. In the video. <laughs> oh, okay, guys. We are tasting our memory with this exercise because it says order the events in the video. What what was the, the first event? Remember? We watched the, the video twice. And many people talk. Uh, okay, okay, let's see. Uh, wh where is it? I don't see it. One, two, three. And ah, this one. Can you can you read it? Oh, Richard, this is the British Council. Yeah, Richard is the radio sponsor. 
Ah, okay. Richard visits the British Council. Okay, that's number one in your opinion. What's next in the video? What was the next part? Okay, you can read you can read the sentence. The third one. Richard asked if technology changes language. Uh, okay, do you agree or we can change it? You agree? Uh -huh. I don't agree. You agree? Okay, let's let's place it as as the second one. No problem. Number three. What's the next that he mentioned? We can ask about the English as a global language. Okay, it's already there in number three. Okay, and next, what is next? Uh, uh huh. Julio, idea for the next one. Richard asked about the different types of English. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. First is Richard talk about the importance of English for work and, and the study. I guess. Uh, you, okay, but remember, Richard. What is the verb? Pronunciation in the verb. Talks. Talks, correct. Richard talks. Uh, let's place it. Let's see what happens. No problem. Uh, next. Next, next. Martin explained. Sorry. Ross, about different type of English. Different types. Ah, okay. Okay, after Richard talks. All right. It's already there. Next. Some people talk about their experience of studying in Britain. Ah, the students, right? Uh huh. The students. Okay. And finally, you can read it. Martin explains how technology can help learners of English. Ah, who was Martin? Remember Martin? The director. Yes. The director, correct. Uh -huh. Martin the was the director. Uh -huh. So Martin appears at the beginning. Yes. Okay. Yes, from the beginning of the video. Uh, okay, but Richard visits the British Council. That sounds like number number one, correct. Next, double checking this. Next. Number three. This one. Yes, yeah, Martin. As number two. Yeah, I, I think that the number three is number three. Because okay. Richard has it uh, for his time. Ah, okay. Richard visits, then Richard makes the question uh -huh, to Martin. Next. Martin explains about he he Richard he asked about different type of English uh, after the, uh, global language after a global let's see okay uh, where is global 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 okay this, the second one. this one is at the correct place yes it is okay after this one which one uh, Richard talks about the importance of English for work and stuff. Uh, okay, as number three. Okay. No, that, that's, uh, sorry. The, uh, Richard asked if technology changes. No, no, no. Okay, let me order it. Like this, right? Number three. Yeah. Uh, Okay, you're close, you're close. Pretty close. 
Uh, but what about global language? Richard asks about English as a global language. That's the, the second That's one. The second one. Okay, this is the second. Okay, there it is. This one, number three, correct? Mm -hmm. Number four. Oh, uh, Richard asked if technology changes language and and, uh, and he's, he, he said that uh, people talk about global language in education. It's just in science, in technology, and, and importantly, uh, also used in business of many global languages. So that that's, I think the, the, the second one is correct. And the third one most... Uh, most likely, most probably. Yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, guys, to continue with uh, with the task, we can leave it like this. Don't worry if it's incorrect, you can redo it. You can redo it, no problem. Let's check it out. Let's see how many correct ones you got. Da -da -da -da. Oh, okay. Okay, no, don't worry, it's fine. Number one is correct, number two. Okay, but this one, number three, no. Number four, yes. Okay, -na -na. okay. You can redo the exercise so you can find out the correct conversation according with the video. Okay, but not bad. You have a pretty good idea. No problem. Next, task number two. Can you read it, uh, Sofia? Please, can you read at the task and number two? English is correct. Choose the best answer according to the video. Okay, what is the best answer for? Uh, can you read it? Let's see, uh, Jorge. The British Council. Okay, the British Council, what is the first option? Wars to make cultural relationship with other countries. All right, Eduardo says number one. The second one. The, the second, second one. Gives help to people who want to learn English. Ah, okay, okay. Now maybe I think is the last one. How <laughs> all all can you read it? Oh, I think, the, I think it's okay. the, the number one. The first one. Three number one. Ah, okay. Okay. Not all of the above are true. Who knows? Uh, I agree with the last. The last one. Yeah. Ah, okay. Okay. Let's select it. Let's see if you are correct at the end. Okay. Let's see. Uh, please, you can read the next one. I Ivan, the next one. Martin Peacock. There are many global languages. Mm -hmm. He thinks there are many global languages. He mentions that. He mentions that correct in the video. Uh huh. He mentioned it correct. But is that the correct answer uh, for this or a different one? What do you think? Thinks there are many global languages. Okay, let's select that one, no problem. Okay, let's continue with number three. Uh, Carla. Martin says that English is a global language because it's used, uh, can I read it? Yeah. It's used in a lot of, of different contexts globally. There are many different varieties of English 
It is spoken by large numbers of people. All of the above are true. Uh, okay, let's see. Da -da -da -da. So, varieties, varieties, Mar varieties. varieties. Okay, and here it's all of the, the above. The above. Why, why not that teacher and the? Because vowel at the beginning, the above, the eraser, etc. Uh huh. Option. Guys? Because there are many different varieties of English. Okay. Done. Next. Uh, -na -na -na. Next one. Okay. Uh, a reader, a reader, please. A reader. Martin says, says that technology. Martin says that technology has speeded up the way that languages change. Let's people read more authentic English. Let's people translate languages. All of the above are true. Okay. Um, in your opinion, what's the correct answer? Let people translate languages. Okay, all right. Okay, let's select it. This word is authentic. 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 Yeah. It's like, like a no, similar to a no. Authentic. Okay. Next, next, next. Uh, let me check the last one. Uh huh. Clear. Remember the students. Clear. Clear. Maximiliano, Alexander, and Anthony are all studying English in Britain. All agree that British people are nice. All say that English will help them in their careers. All of the above are true. Okay, remember the last, the last, last one. The last, the last one. All of the above are true. Okay, perfect. Okay, let's check them so we can see how well you did. -da -da -da. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay. Ouch. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. We, we need to watch the video a third time. <laughs> okay. But no problem. That is the purpose that you see, that you listen, that you think, that you consider, etc. There is no problem if you didn't. We see the, huh? the answer correct. Ah, okay, let's see. Incorrect, incorrect, incorrect. Ah, no, only this one, only the first one. But guys, you have the option to redo this, this uh, practice. Redo it so you can study and complete the task with all the correct answer. That is the purpose that you practice with this. Uh, do we have any other? Ah, yeah, we have number three. Maybe this one is the lucky one. Let's see. Put the words in the right spaces. Uh, okay. Okay, this is uh, a complexion paragraph. Ivan, number one. The British Council provides for people learning English. Well, well, well. Okay, you read the complement so you can have a better idea about the missing word. The British we, Council. We stole. Uh -huh. We stole. Uh, ah, we this stole. one. Yes. 
R resources. Resources. Okay, read it complete. Please. The British Council provides resources for people learning English. Okay, it has sense. It has sense, but we can check later. Julio? Uh, there's, uh, uh, there are languages which are used very widely and spoken by many people. Okay, widely. The adverb, okay, pretty good, thanks. Uh, Catherine, Elizabeth, or Alejandra? Number three. Okay. In the past, new words were um, coined. Okay, coined. D. By people in a speech or a newspaper article or in a book. All right. Okay. Done. Point. There it is. Uh, four. Please, at the TV, I hear the news. No TV. Who has the TV on? Ah, let me see. <laughs> okay, I was listening to the, the news. No problem. Thank you. Number four, guys. Can you read it? The, the internet. internet allows people to read and translate language like English on a massive and on a massive scale. 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 All right. Pretty cool. Five. Okay. Don't stop practicing. Don't stop practicing. You can read it. Knowledge of the language is often important in... in fields. Fields? Fields. Like... Field. Uh -huh. Medicine, business, and computing. And computing. Okay, I think this is the correct one. I think. Six, six, six. English. English opens the employment. Oh, well. Opens. Doors. 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 Or doors. Open doors, open doors, English open doors to employment, education, and mobility. 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 Mobility means mobility. That okay. when, when you move out from the country for yeah. from the city. Okay. Yes, mobility. Seven, 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 eleven. English. English helps teachers and learners. Mm, engage right. across the globe. Engage across the globe. Mm, we are going to check. Don't worry. In eight, I just, I just turned 24 last February and I'm from Malaysia. Malaysia, 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 Malaysia. I don't remember pronunciation from the country. Malaysia, 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 Malaysia right? Okay. I just turned the uh, twenty-four. Okay. Let's see if this task is better than the previous ones. Let's cross your fingers. Finish. Ah, yes. When I I said that this one was a lucky. The lucky task. Okay, pretty good. Complete. 100%. Pretty good. Okay, no problem with this part. And we have a number four. Let's see. Uh, but we have four minutes. Okay, guys. Because of the time, we can, we can stop in this part. No problem. All right. Final words.
Would you like to say any final words before we say goodbye to each other? Final words to the class. No? Okay. Thank you. <laughs> teacher, teacher, I say uh, uh, thank you very much for um, the class, the learn, and the uh, aprender cos mejores cosas. Okay, for learning better, better things. Okay. For learning better. For example, for example, the tools, right? The dictionaries. Yes. Uh, they are useful. Pretty useful. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Alejandra. Thank you so much for that. Okay, guys. Time is almost over. It was a pleasure to me to be with you. I wish you good luck in the next level. I wish you good luck in your careers, in your studies, in your lives, and hope to see you soon in, in another level. Okay, thank you guys. It was great having you in the class. Take care and continue. Continue studying with education and effort. Thank, thank you, teacher. Thank you for, thank you thank you for your time, for your effort. Everything. Everything. Good, teacher. No problem, guys. Not a problem. My thank you. Thank you. Okay. Oh. Perfect. God bless. God bless you, teacher. Thank you so much, Ivan. God bless you all. Okay. Guys, finish the assignments, please, and the final exam, as always. Thank you. Take care. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. Take care. Thank you, teacher. Good bye. See you soon, yes. Goodbye, no. Goodbye, no. See you soon, yes. See you soon. Take care. <laughs> see you soon. Take care. I have again. to see you again. <laughs> yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> you. Okay. Thank Good you. night, teacher. Be careful. Good night, guys. Take care. Good night, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, bye-bye.